Well, my name is Maria Coriel Martin, and I'm an expeditionary artist based here in Seattle, Washington. And I paint polar and glaciated regions to witness climate change. I go out into the field. I've been around the world to every continent, and most recently to Antarctica in October, and experience the environment painting in the field, and then back home in the studio work with oils. I use a sketch pad instead of a camera, in part because of this great tradition of traveling artists. We had Thomas Moran opening the American West, Emily Carr in British Columbia, and an artist slash biologist in Antarctica named uh, Edward Wilson. Um, and so today we have so much media. We see video, we see photographs all the time. And I think for me with a sketchbook, I'm actually sitting in these environments and taking the time to see them and sketch them and experience them. And I'm hoping I can offer a fresh perspective that at the same time is traditional. Working in Greenland, I met a variety of people. I worked with two teams of prospective diamond geologists. Uh, the National Science Foundation sponsored a visit to a summit camp in Greenland in the middle of the ice cap. And I was also artist in residency with a museum on the northern coast. So it was an opportunity to learn the scientific perspective of what is going on here, what's happening on the ice, the dynamics, what interests are there in the minerals of the regions, which I'd never learned before, and then what are the native people there like? Greenland is 85% uh, native Greenlandic. Um, in Antarctica, I was traveling down on a huge old Russian icebreaker called the Kapitan Klevnikov. Um, so learning that boat and working with a community of folks with Quark Expeditions, a company that uh, travels both to Antarctica and the Arctic. And uh, we took helicopters out to a penguin colony and I was able to hike on the sea ice and sketch penguins for four days, which was great fun. And I had to endure some real cold there with my materials. The polar regions are changing so quickly right now, especially with uh, global climate change. And I think it's important that we see different perspectives of these regions. As an artist, I hope to provide a visual reference that can complement the scientific reports and help people empathize and imagine and care ultimately about these regions.